friends welcome back to my channel i have this power supply circuit card today we are drawing the circuit diagram from this pcb in proteus professional i will share all the steps that how we can get an error free circuit diagram from any furnished pcb so i will share all steps in detail if you are new to my channel you can subscribe and if you are interested to watch my videos in future you can press bell icon button please give your opinion after watching this video let's start in this session i will share the easiest technique to reverse engineer this pcb to make circuit diagram from this pcb there are many methods but uh, this method it is very easy and everyone can draw circuit diagram from this pcb using this technique we will take the rear side picture of this pcb and we will flip it normally if we see rear view when we look from the camera these connections are here but we need to use flip function from the computer so that these connections will reach here now if we see here in this direction every component location will match with this print there will no mistake you can also take a color print out because this pcb don't have any contrast the pcb color is green and tracks are also in green color you can take black and white picture it will come in this shape the tracks are also visible or you can remove background that is also technique let's start now in the first step there is a component that is fuse we will draw here fuse it is f1 i am using my microscope to check the value of the component 5 ampere 250 volt it is here dual line filter now if we check the inductor value 2.6 milli henry then we have this resistor here 680k it is connected across these points then we have two class y capacitors here cy1 cy2 it is ce 222m then we have class x capacitor cx2 0.1 micro 275 volt cx2 positive terminal this is negative and these are ac terminals bd1 it is kbu 808 then we have ntc here it is th1 th1 5d11 then here is switch SPST we can use SPST SPDT then we have these two capacitors large capacitors this end is negative positive negative this end positive negative C1 C20 220 micro 250 volt then we have these two resistors 
that are connected across these capacitors R33 R34 150k then we have this class Y capacitor connected between chassis CY5 CE22M then there is this MOSFET SSH8N80 gate drain source then we have these two resistors current sensor resistors R7 R8 0.47 then we have this resistor 5.1k R9 5.1k then here is a resistor R6 and D9 R6 15 ohm D9 1 N 4148 then here we have D1 D1 diode HER 507 then there is a capacitor here 47 pico 1 kV then a resistor here 150 ohms now when we will remove these components from this diagram this diagram will become very clear then there is D2 that is connected at this point HER507 then we have capacitor here 222 PF code 2 kV it is 68 kilo ohms we can see any identification of the component and we can find the value of the component in the bill of material then we have two resistors here it is 75 kilo ohms then there is this diode we can see how easily we are drawing the components we are making the pin layout HER 208 this transformer have winding here then one winding here and second winding here then we have another winding here We have this capacitor, class Y capacitor CY4, that is between primary ground and secondary ground. CY4103 code 2KV. Then here is rectifier. Its number is D92. Dash zero two center pin is cathode. And then we have this filter D 
वन फिफ्टी नाइन माइक्रो हंड्री दिस इज कनेक्टेड हीयर यहां पर ये देन वी हैव आउटपुट कैपेसिटर्स C16, 17, 18, 19, 1000 microfarad, 35 volt, 2.6 k resistor, four resistors in parallel, R29, 30, 31, 32, and here we have these jumpers. these two jumpers are connected from this point to inductor this preset here it is for voltage adjustment 1k here we have one resistor r26 and here is connector r26 it is 4.7k then here led then here we have connector here we have two resistors and two capacitors these are snubber for this rectifier 20 ohm one resistor here second resistor here one capacitor second capacitor 102 kv 102 picofarad core this 1 kilo ohm resistor 20 kilo ohm r24 r23 2 kilo ohm tl431a pin number 1 here Three here. Center is ground. Five point six k. One zero four code. Hundred volt. IC two. Eight one seven C. One two three four. Here we have diode and resistor. D six one and four one four eight. R twenty two point six k, then one capacitor here. One zero four hundred volt. It's PF code. Then we have another capacitor here. It is C nine. Same one zero four code here. Then here is jumper. It is one zero four hundred volt, hundred micro, thirty five volt. This end positive, this end negative. R fifteen. Ten kilo ohm. Then we have R eleven. Four point seven ohm. It is one kilo ohm. R twelve. Then we have IC here. It is three eight four five. Pin number one here. Pin number one. Two three four five six seven eight. You see three eight four five A N. C twelve, one micro, fifty volt. One and four one four eight. Then another capacitor here. C eleven, positive, negative here. Two point two micro, fifty volt. Two A one zero two J. Four seven one C six C eight 
वन जीरो वन C7, C6, C8. After that, we have two resistors here. Two point two kilo ohm resistor. Thirty ohm. R19 nine hundred ten k. then resistor d4 1 and 4 1 4 8 26k r17 then this transistor a1015 emitter base center pin collector r18 26k 26 kilo ohm then we have another transistor it is also a1015 emitter collector and base q2 here r16 10 kilo ohm then here is capacitor class y capacitor it is cy3 it is connected between these two points. It is 222. The same here CY3. Now this is earthing point line neutral negative positive. Our PCB is now free of component. It's very easy now. We will remove one by one component and we will trace the lines. If there is any mistake, we will verify it with the help of this board. We can cross check now. This fuse, its drawing is okay. Then this resistor, it is connected between these two points. This inductor, it's okay. If we have any missing point, we can draw it. Now I opened Proteus 8.13. Now we have this picture with component layout. Every component is shown in its place. Then we have this PCB. It have component ID, component location. In rear side we have tracks. We can consult this one. Then we have this component layout with original PCB. Bill of material. We will check the component ID. And here we have component values. And this is our last workout. We placed every component symbol on the tracks. And now with help of this one, we will place all the components on the Proteus. We will use this component layout IDs. And we will place component similar to this location. Then we will make wiring. And we will also add values using this bill of material. Add wiring. First of all, here is fuse I will press P fuse fuse value 5 ampere to 50 volt F1 5 ampere after that this resistor R1 R1 680 K 680 K then we have LF1 Inductor 2.6 milli hundred F1 completed, completed, completed. Then CY1, CY2. Two point two nano. Then class X capacitor. Its value is 0.1 micro CX2. Then we have bridge rectifier BD1 
KBU808. Now we will make tracks. We can see this neutral is reaching to this resistor and this inductor. I will place input terminal here. It is reaching to R1 and this inductor. Second input terminal reaching to fuse. After fuse it is reaching to these two components. Then after inductor it is reaching to two capacitors. Center terminal of both capacitors are connected together and it is coming to the earthing point. After this, it is coming to class X capacitor, class Y and class X capacitor. And this track is also done. Then it is reaching to bridge rectifier negative terminal positive terminal there is thyristor on positive terminal and negative terminal is reaching to this capacitor negative terminal is reaching to this c1 this capacitor positive terminal is reaching to th1 then capacitor positive terminal it is connected to positive terminal polar capacitor negative side here is shown in upside so we will place in the same direction negative terminal is reaching here so negative terminal is connected to bridge rectifier negative terminal and this positive terminal is reaching to this capacitor thyristor is connected to capacitor and the negative terminal of this capacitor is connected to this SPST single pole single throw switch It is 110, 220 volt and it is connected to AC terminal. And this terminal is going to capacitor positive terminal. Then we have two resistors in parallel to these capacitors. These are bleeder resistors R33, R34. These are here. R33, R34, 150 K. Here is I will place transformer now. Transformer. We need one, two, three, four windings. We will use this six winding transformer and we will leave two windings blank. Now we will connect these positive voltage to the transformer primary and reset winding. Our tertiary winding here I will make jumper between the both windings now these are connected to positive terminal in the positive terminal we have three components one capacitor one resistor the second resistor C2 R2 R3 one capacitor one resistor, second resistor. R two sixty eight K. Both ends of these components are connected together. Then it is going to transformer winding, and these are reaching to this transformer winding. D two diode. D2 is HER507 and it is connected to first winding of the transformer that is primary winding. Then we have second resistor 
R3 is 75 K. Then this resistor is connected to another resistor that is R4. R4 is same value component so I will copy it. Paste from the clipboard. Both hands are connected together. Then it is connected to D3. D3 HER208. Now if we check here R5, R5 resistor is connected to transformer reset winding. R5 is 150 ohm. The second end of R5 is connected to C3. C3 is 47 pico. And this end of the capacitor is connected to ground. Now we can connect ground here. This is our now primary ground. From here, here, and there is a diode connected at negative terminal and it is connected to reset winding D1HER507 Now if we see these two components are connected in parallel we can see this capacitor and this resistor are connected in parallel to this diode so it is RC snubber for this diode for its fast recovery from here we complete it until here and this path and this path up to here in the negative terminal we have two resistors here 8 and 80 its drain pin is connected to this primary winding Drain is connected to this pin and we have two resistors at source R7 R8 R7 R8.47 ohms 0.47 R and resistor this end is connected to ground And we have resistor between source and gate pin. R9 5.1 K. That is here. Then this track is coming to these two components. That are here. These two components. R6 D9. D9. 1 and 4148 R615 ohm and the second end cathode and R6 second end is connected together and it is connected to R11 DC rail ground is connected to auxiliary winding auxiliary winding one end is connected to ground Now here is IC UC3845 UC3845 It don't have 3845 2845 No 1845 Yes it have UC1845 1845, 1845 2845 3845 are same Pin number 7 of this IC is connected to this common node of R4 and D3 VCC pin is connected to this point R4 D3 C4 C5 these are connected between VCC and ground pin so this is VCC capacitor and this is decoupling capacitor one end is connected to ground pin number 8 is connected to capacitor C10 and C10 capacitor second end is grounded C10 100 nano pin number 6 of this IC is connected to R11 this is pin number 6 it is connected to R11 that is drive so output pin of this IC is connected to these components 
Then if we see source pin, at the source pin there is R12 that is coming to pin number 3 of this IC. Here is R12 and here is R13 and it is connected to pin number 3. It is connected to current sense pin. It is connected between pin number 3 and ground. Then we have pin number 4 that is connected to C7. 102J. It is CT. Timing capacitor. CT pin and pin number 3 we have one capacitor. Value of C6. 470 pico. Pin number 4. And second side is connected to pin number 3. C8 between pin number 3 and ground. Now here is Q2. A1015 emitter collector base PC817 TL431 pin number 4 to IC pin number 1 PC817 pin number 4 is connected to pin number 1 and we have capacitor C9 that is connected here C9 capacitor is connected at pin number 4 of this optocoupler and pin number one. Second end of the capacitor is connected to ground. At pin number 4 we have D6 and R20. Resistor R20. R20 2.6K. And second end of these both components is connected together. Then we have capacitor C12 that is connected between pin number 3 and these two components. C12 1 microfarad 50 volts. Negative is connected to pin number 3. And this end is connected to this side. Pin number 2 of this IC is also grounded. Then we have two components D4 R19 1 and 4148 R19 910K. These are connected to pin number 8 of IC. These both are in parallel. Second end of these two components is connected to C11 positive terminal. Value of R17 26K. R16 10 kilo ohm.
now we will verify and rearrange other components and we will rearrange the circuit again so that it will become in some good understandable shape so if you enjoyed this video hit the like button if you have any question please write in the comments thanks for watching assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh